Let's move to Bahrain, please. Mm -hmm. There was renewed violence in Bahrain today. Several pro-democracy demonstrators were killed. This comes on the heels in just the last week where both Secretary Gates and you have asked the Bahraini leadership for restraint. So what is American policy now that the Bahraini leadership doesn't seem to be listening? Well, we find what's happening in Bahrain alarming. We think that uh, uh, there is no security uh, answer to the uh, aspirations and demands of the demonstrators. Uh, we've made it very clear to the Bahraini government uh, at the highest levels that we expect them to exercise restraint. We would remind them of their humanitarian obligation to keep medical facilities open and to fil facilitate the treatment of the injured uh, and to get back to the negotiating table. We have also made that very clear uh, to our Gulf uh, uh, partners who are part of the uh, Gulf Cooperation Council, uh, four of whose members have uh, sent uh, troops to uh, mm -hmm. support the Bahraini government. Uh, they are on the wrong track. There is no security answer to this. And the sooner they get back to the negotiating table and start uh, trying to answer the legitimate needs of the people, the sooner there can be uh, a resolution that will be in the best interest of everyone. But right now, Madam Secretary, does it make the United States look bad? Does it give the United States a black eye to be so allied with a monarchy that is now shooting its own people? Well, we are absolutely opposed to the use of force, and we have said that repeatedly. Uh, Secretary Gates gave a very strong message to the Bahraini uh, government when he was there, uh, and not only urging restraint, but pointing out all of the problems if uh, they were to pursue any other uh, alternative. Uh, so we have been very clear about that, and we are going to continue to stress what we think uh, is in the best interest, not only of Bahrain and the people of Bahrain, but of the entire region. This kind of use of force against peaceful demonstrators, a refusal uh, on all sides, because we want to make sure that no one is using force, um, whether they are in the security forces or in the demonstrators, everyone needs to resolve their differences in a peaceful manner and to look for a political solution. Uh, there is no uh, long-term alternative other than that.